Welcome back everybody, so here we are, it's the third day of doing my mill haul picture, so just coming in, having a wee look at the actual mill itself, coming together, still quite a bit of detail to put in, loving the wee tree, the wee willow tree in the foreground there, this picture was taken in springtime, so a lot of the leaves not in the trees yet, so some conifers away in the distance. I'll get a bit more detail in them as well. Coming down into the reflection, I was working on the reflection on day two. Coming together, maybe just a wee bit more detail in this too. So just panning back, and I'll show you my setup for today. Outside, it's a glorious day. So there's my camcorder, which will be recording all the footage. Got my wee speaker, my glasses, most important thing, cup of tea, and then my colours, now I'll go through my colours, it's actually got a shadow in it, let me just move that over here, so show you the colours I've got, I've got the cerulean blue, one of my most favourite colours, ultramarine, purple, indigo, Payne's grey, velvet purple, my browns, my earthy colours, so I've got burnt umber, burnt sienna, looks quite red actually in the, the glow of the sun, burnt umber, raw umber sorry, white, and we've got yellow ochre, lemon yellow, cad yellow, titanium, leaf green and this new one, green gold it is, I'll show you that one, lovely colour, get those nice zesty highlights in the grass, so that's me, not much commentary when I'm painting, you can just see it coming together, uh, just a wee bit of commentary at the start, so I'll leave you to it folks, enjoy the video.
So this is the final part of the video everyone. Just doing a quick recap of the Mill Hall picture and coming into the focal point, obviously the mill itself. Had a wee chat about that in the last video, but it really came together. The, the weir coming across to what we were working on today. Put more detail in the trees. You can see some of the foliage just coming because it is spring. So the trees aren't in full bloom. Put the wee fence in. And then there's a gorse bush on the right hand side here. I was thinking about putting a bit more vivid colours in but I decided not to bother. But when you can come down into this area here you can actually see some of the underpainting still shining through. Which is I enjoy in the pictures just to sort of show how the picture came together. Coming right down, there's my signature. So the next stage is just to get this one varnished. But happy with the result, one of my favourite spots from the lockdown period. A wee adventure a couple of weeks ago on a bike and we found this spot. I knew it existed but it was great to revisit after so many years. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned to the next one. Planned is called the Glen and I will be doing a picture of People's Palace. So People's Palace will be a big piece and the Calder Glen probably just a small six by 600 by 500. So I'll see you then. Thank you.